This isn't your ordinary laptop. It's the ASUS FX705 TUF series laptop, which means it comes with military grade hardware. The MIL STD810 tests it's undergone make the laptop take day to day abuse, knocks, and bumps with no trouble at all. It's quite a solid chassis, if you ask me, and pretty hefty, although fitting it in a backpack won't be a problem. It just might be a little on the heavier side at 2.6 kilograms. All around the laptop, you have either red or gold accents, depending on the variant you pick up, to bring about that gaming laptop feel. It's a nice touch, but I wish the logo on the lid lit up too for that extra attention to detail. Speaking of the lid, there's not a lot of flex to it and it's got this nice radiating X pattern around. Our finish in the red matter is made of plastic, but you do get a brushed metallic cover variant too. Now, as far as the inside goes, the first thing that jumps to me is the display. It's a 17.3 inch panel with a 144Hz refresh rate, which reduces screen tearing in day to day activity. The bezels are pretty thin, which makes it possible to fit a large panel on board, and also a front camera. You're looking at a 1080p resolution IPS display with decent viewing angles and a non glare finish. You'll be able to watch your content on it with no problems, and the speaker on board is pretty good too. The screen also gets bright enough, and I'm sure you'll be able to use the display outdoors. But when it comes to on the go usage, I wouldn't bank on this thing too much. On idle and when doing low intensive tasks, the laptop holds its own. But if you want to do heavy editing or gaming on the go, you need to carry around the charger which isn't the most streamlined looking thing. Otherwise for IO, you're looking at some very standard things. The left side is where you'll find the ethernet port, an HDMI port, two USB 3.1 ports, a USB 2.0 port, and the 3.5mm headphone input. It's disappointing not to see at least the inclusion of one USB-C port and the lack of a dedicated microphone input, seeing that this is a gaming laptop. But at least all the ports are on the left side, so the right side remains obstruction free when gaming and using the mouse. Otherwise, I also was a bit surprised not to see an SD card reader built into the device. I think given the 100% sRGB screen and the processing power of the laptop, it would serve to be a good mid-range choice for video editing, but the omission of the SD card reader puts it quite low in the pecking order. As for the laptop's core usage, you're looking at Windows 10 which comes pre-installed on a generous M.2 NVMe PCIe 256GB SSD with an extra 1TB hard drive for your storage. The laptop is running an Intel i7-8750H processor clocked at 2.2GHz. There are 16GB of DDR4 RAM that comes with the laptop as well as Nvidia's GTX 1050 Ti graphics card with 4GB of dedicated VRAM. With a setup like this, the laptop can handle games but not at their highest settings. I've enjoyed playing games like Fortnite and Apex Legends on toned down settings and the experience has been pretty smooth. The laptop doesn't heat up significantly to cause a worry and that's because of ASUS's cooling technology and that V-cut design exhaust. And as far as noise goes, it's user dependent. Gamers tend to use laptops with headphones, and in this case it shouldn't be an issue because the laptop's impressive DTS 7.1 channel configuration gives you some pretty good audio output. You can set the laptop's fan profiles too depending on where you are, but for my usage I've always kept it at balance and it's worked the best for me. Something I quite like is that grippy brushed inside finish that helps with using the laptop's keyboard. I would say the keyboard's keys have a good amount of travel to them with the WASD keys highlighted and designed especially for FPS games. There's also a slight curvature to the keys which makes typing just a bit more comfortable. Although I do feel the arrow keys are a bit cramped on the right side and I wish the enter key was two rows tall like on a traditional keyboard. The overall lighting of the keyboard sticks to the red theme of the laptop and unfortunately there's no RGB backlighting available for the keyboard, which isn't the biggest deal breaker to be honest. But I think the trackpad is one of the lowest points of the laptop. The pad is very cheap feeling and click registration feels uneven at different points on it. I'm also not a fan of having the left and right keys embedded on the mouse pad and would have much preferred dedicated keys for the trackpad. So when it comes to mid-range gaming in a rugged chassis, I think ASUS has almost got it perfect. But for the asking price of Therm's 5199, it is on the higher side. Some things like the generous SSD, the 144Hz display or the TUF protection might not come on other laptops, but these are not the absolute necessities for a laptop of this range. As a general mid-range gamer, I think people look for versatility. 
Having the SD card slot or that dedicated port for audio are key things that many mid-range enthusiasts want. Because at the end of the day, they want a laptop that can do everything well. And by skipping on those small and essential things and with the higher than average price tag, some people might sway to other competitors. Thanks for watching our take on the Asus TUF FX705. Let us know what you think about the laptop down in the description and make sure to subscribe for more videos coming up. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.